Hi friends. Well, this week's video is just checking in here and there on my week as a retiree in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico. Just hanging around at home, turning on my camera once in a while. Uh, we're getting ready to head to the United States for a few months. Uh, gonna spend some time in our RV life. Have a couple of videos to make before I leave Mexico. One of them is to go back up there uh, where Sergio is building his house. The house we talked about in the last video. And his neighbor uh, down the street, Rico, is renovating another house that's going to be for rent. So uh, we're going to go and check out the progress he's made in renovating his house. So come back to see those and um, I'll let you know when we're heading for the United States of America. In the meantime, still loving the weather and the lifestyle in Ajijic, Mexico. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Hi friends. I'm always joking about uh, guacamole falling out of the skies here at my property in Ajijic, Jalisco, Mexico on the north shore of Lake Chapala. Well, last night, wind. This is an avocado tree. And I already picked up six avocados that the wind blew out of the tree last night. And I gathered up a bunch of them over here. And some animal been eaten there. There's four more over there in the grass. But I saved this one here to show you. Check this out. Look how big this is. They're not hoss, they're a different kind of avocado, but the seeds aren't really big in there and very creamy, good avocados. Love them. When they come out of the tree like this, they're hard. And I wrap them in newspaper for a couple of days and then they're uh, ready to eat. But a big limb fell out of the tree and I've cleaned it all up here. I've been working at it for a while. But as I sawed that piece off right there, from there, I decided to show you what I'm using to saw it. I got this delivered from Amazon the other day and I ordered it because I thought that it might help my guy trim the palms because he's hauling a heavy saw up there and stuff. And this is light, so I thought, well, it'll saw a palm frond off. But I kind of thought of it as, um, a toy. This is not a toy. I'm going to saw that piece of log off there. This is a six inch blade and that's about a seven inch or, um, tree trunk. Avocado tree. Let me put the camera on the tripod. It's not a toy. This isn't a sponsored video and uh, they didn't send me this for free. I paid for it. I ordered it off of Amazon.com Mexico. I think it was like uh, about, uh, I don't know, 50, 60 dollars, US dollars. Although it was in pesos, I don't really remember, but hey, I got my money's worth. Someone asked me in a comment the other day if there was an airport near Chapala. There is a small private airport. Um, Saturdays we get uh, recreational piloting over the lake shore. Today we're going to talk about ant wars. I have this hose that's stretched out to the garden, which is down around there. We'll go there in a minute. And it comes from my well up there in the corner, but I want to show you what's going on here. Check this out. Escalinas, little ants, and they're moving eggs. 
and they're using the hose as a highway. Two-way traffic there, see it? Some have delivered eggs to wherever they're moving to. Some are coming back. There's some going back for another load. And as soon as you think that uh, you're ever gonna get ahead of the ant wars, you may win a battle. But check this out. They're coming from this hole in the wall right here. Okay, see them? They're all pretty excited about something. And they go across the wall and they're coming across the top of my well over there. You can see them. And they get right there. Well, I alarmed them by slamming that down, but now they're getting on the little hose. And they're going on the hose. Let's go see where they're going. Uh, maybe I should put some marching music in the background here. Now, they get off the hose right here, and they're having a little bit of difficulty getting through the grass, but it is not slowing them down. They're going across here. And there's the line of them going there. Still going. Still going. Ah, I put my face in a spider web. Yeah. They're still going, they're going right through there. Now I'm not disturbing them because I think they're moving out to the federal zone. <laughs> and fine enough, I kind of gave up for a while on the garden. Um, fighting the leaf cutter ants. I've got a pretty good crop of uh, squash there I need to pick up. Um, my maid came and took all the tomatillos. But uh, I just... Uh, about a month ago, decided too much trouble. Got a pretty good crop of onions. I'll dig those up. The parsley just seems to go no matter what. Apparently, leaf cutter ants don't like parsley. They sure do just take whatever else they want. Two weeks ago, they totally stripped this plant, but I don't know, maybe it's used to it. It's practiced at this process. 
Stripped it totally. Wasn't a leaf left on it two weeks ago. And they come back. Ant Wars. I got this uh, cute little fountain for my... Oh, don't fall in the water, Jerry. Or drop your phone in it. It uh, runs on solar. Now it's cloudy today, so it's only just spurting a little bit. But when it's... Uh, When the sun's shining on it, it sprays up about two feet constantly. Beautiful overcast day today here. Temperature is perfect. What do we got? 70, two, four, five. Oh yeah, now we're getting full sun. And the disturbance that appears there is shadows of the waves on the bottom of the pool. This is Bruno, my neighbor's dog. We were walking along the lakeshore the other morning and we're always yelling at Bruno not to bark at the horses, but he did. And the horse kicked him and he did head over tail three somersaults away from the horse after he got kicked. And he came out here and he just laid down in the water. Like, ooh, that hurts. Let's see if the water will make it go away. I'm roasting poblano peppers for my famous chili reno casserole. Doing it on my barbecue with my blowtorch. If you'd like to see how I actually make a chili relleno casserole, I'll put a link up here to a video I did, um, I don't know, a year or so ago. Video's in my motorhome, but same recipe, same cook. <laughs> Check it out if you want to know how to make a chili relleno casserole. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.